Hello, I'm Eloise, your lead Beautonomy YouTube host, and for today's video, I am going to be showing you how to create this super, super sexy, grungy, matte, smoky eye. I am absolutely obsessed with how this look turned out, and believe it or not, I used two eyeshadows and one eye pencil to create this entire look. So if you're interested to see how I did it, then make sure you keep watching. Okay, so I've already primed my eye off camera so that we have a beautiful blank base to start with. As you can see between this eye and this eye, it's considerably brighter. So in order to create my grungy, smoky eye, I'm going to be using the reverse blend technique, which means laying down your darkest colours first and then blending them out with the lighter colours. It looks very, very scary, but actually once you get the hang of it, it's super easy. So the first shade I'm going to dip into is this deep purple right here with quite a large packing on eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to start by popping that in the outer corner of the eye. And I haven't done like a really dark all over the lid smoky eye in such a long time so I think that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm just going to pop that colour all over the lid because it's such a beautiful deep purple. So I've popped that all over my lid and I've taken it up just as high as my crease line and it looks really scary right now like I said but we are going to blend it out and it's going to blend super seamlessly so just trust the process. <laughs> With a clean fluffy brush I'm just going to buff over the edges of that eyeshadow just so that when we put the next colour on it's a little bit easier to blend. And this part might take a little bit of time but just be patient, it will slowly but surely blend out and become a beautiful diffused halo around that colour. And these are just the perfect autumn full colours, which we are quickly coming into right now. One minute it's 31 degrees, the next minute it's like 14. It's very, very chilly outside today. Now that that is starting to blend out, and don't worry that we've lost a little bit on the lid, we can go back in with that colour and pack it back on. I'm now going to take this shade here called Papaya, and with that same brush that we buffed out that purple, I'm going to start to really blend out this harsh edge. I'm just going to go back in with that purple that we started off with, just to really re-establish the colour on the lid where we've lost a little bit of it and you can use that brush to really help diffuse that purple a little, little bit more as well and then back in with papaya so I'm placing this brush half on half off the purple shade and that is going to really help to diffuse it into the skin and it's entirely up to you whether you keep the smoky eye rounded or you wing it out a little bit for my eye shape, it's really nice to wing it out and sort of lift the eye. I'm now just taking a slightly larger fluffy brush just to really add that papaya shade to the rest of the eye. I really like bringing eyeshadow all the way up to the brow bone and the front of the brow as well. It really does help give it that grungy feel when it's a little bit more messy. And now on that fluffy brush, I'm going to add a little bit of that purple. I want to make this shape a little bit bigger so that it is really blown out and grungy looking and not as neat. And I really am just going backwards and forwards that deep purple and that peachy papaya shade and I'm just going with the flow really. If I want to make it bigger I'm making it bigger as you can see I've blown it out a little bit more now. I'm just going back and forward between the two colours until I'm completely happy with the shape and the placement. And you can really do this with any colors you like. If you don't like the purple on yourself, then you could go in with a, a brown, a black, a bright green, whatever you wanted. And stay tuned for our Halloween tutorials because you're gonna see lots more big smoky eyes like this from me. I haven't worn this kind of purple in such a long time and I absolutely love it feel like it really brings a blue out in my eyes. Okay, so now what I want to do is create a really big smoky winged liner. So I'm going to take a black eye pencil and run that all the way along my lash line. And then wing it out into the shape that we've created with the purple eyeshadow. 
and then with a flat smudgy eyeshadow brush I'm just gonna smudge it out basically and I recommend doing one eye at a time with the liner because these pencils do dry down and they can be a little bit fiddly to buff out if they have kind of set down and as you can see I'm just pulling out that liner to really diffuse and soften that edge so you don't have such an abrupt stop and then I'm going to go over the top with that purple just to really help all the colours blend together I love the way that that looks, that looks so gorgeous and then I'm going to run this pencil along my waterline and the top waterline as well and then with that same brush I'm just going to really smudge that underneath and making sure to connect it up to that winged liner at the top so we've got this continuation of smoky liner I'm just taking that purple and setting over the top and slightly buffing it lower so we get a really nice smoky edge okay so this is super super grungy and I'm loving the way that it looks so what I'm going to do is go off camera put my lashes on finish my complexion do a lip and I will be back to show you the finished look so this is the finished look I actually am so so obsessed with this look I am not one to wear a vampy lip this wasn't supposed to be a vampy lip and I chose a dark nude with a pink on top and it turned vampy and I love it because it goes perfectly with the eyes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did creating it for you. If you did, make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe down below and I can't wait to see you in the next one.